Welcome back to another Idaho Falls market update. In this video, I'm going over the main numbers compared to April numbers. There's been lots of stuff going on with the debt ceiling that's making our interest rates fluctuate quite a bit. Our market has been extremely consistent through all this the last uh, six, eight months. So we're going to check out these numbers. Make sure you stick around to see what's going on. Okay, right here we have our April numbers compared with our uh, May numbers. So you can see across the board, we're up in uh, May compared to April, 177 new listings. 123 closed and 162 pending compared to these numbers here in April. Uh, pendings are up quite a bit. Uh, even though we have more new listings this month than pendings, we still have less inventory than we did uh, last month. We're going to check out the percentage difference on the next uh, slide. Okay, we have 231 active listings right now compared to last month we were about 240, which is 4% lower. So we've been extremely consistent there. We've been 230 and 240 for quite a while now. Our new listings are 13% higher than May. Closes are 26% higher and our pendings are 24% higher than they were. Uh, months of inventory, based on May numbers, we're sitting at 1.9 months. So we've been consistent there as well. Average over the last four months, we're at 2.2 months. So still an extreme seller's market. Um, if we had different interest rates, might get some more inventory to balance us out. But um, right now, this is where we're sitting. Still a seller's market. Demand's being suppressed by interest rates, I believe. Otherwise, I think we'd have uh, even more uh pendings going on and our inventory would probably be less. Uh, let's check out the next slide here. So moving on into our uh, new listing average price, we have uh, 521,000, uh, which is up from 476,000. So a little bit more expensive places coming on the market as of this last month. Our median sold price is at 400,000, which is actually down from 415,000. Uh, last month. Our average days on markets up from 56 days and it's at uh, 60 days. So there uh, is the entire market average days. If you look at houses that are um, reasonably priced and are desirable, they are selling uh, much faster than that. They're uh, selling in days, multiple offers again. Uh, so keep your eye on that. If you're looking for something that's really desirable and it's priced correctly, you're gonna have some competition there. So depending on what happens with the debt ceiling, we'll see what happens with the interest rates, but as of right now, unless we get more inventory, see we're gonna see more of the same with this market. Our uh, pendings and inventory and new listings are kinda of gonna just keep balancing each other out. We're gonna stay pretty similar with the same inventory. Tell there's more of a reason for people to uh, sell, which I think most people are waiting for the interest rates to be a little bit lower before most people are going to decide to sell because they don't want to trade up their low interest rates for the high sixes that we're seeing right now. So let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you reach out anytime if you want to buy or sell. I'm happy to help you out or answer any of your questions. So make sure you check out this video right here.